So in this video, I'm looking at groups editing. Uh, so here's our, our um, object. So by groups, I'm looking at under here, under this tab groups, you've got polygon, material, or smoothing. So these have come from the OBJ, Wavefront OBJ file, um, and how they exactly map onto different meanings within your 3D package, depends on that 3D package. But in general, uh, material groups are, you know, a polygon has, can only have one material, so it can either be, you know, glass or wood, etc. Whereas a polygon group is just a general way to organise your, your scene or your object, and any polygon can be in, in multiple groups, and I'll uh, demonstrate that now. So, um, here's our object, uh, there's the UV, so you can work in either UV view or the 3D view here. Um, if you're creating, um, if you're selecting polygons, you can even do that on an unflattened mesh. But if you wanted to s quickly select shells, like, you know, the shells for the hands or whatever, then the yeah, obviously it's got to be flattened to do that. So I'll work on this already flattened mesh. So um, what you can do is create a new group. So I just click on new and give it a name. So let's call it um, legs. So it's created a new group, um, but there's another way that's um, a little bit quicker. Is I just unselect that. Um, if I select the objects, the the shells first. So let's hold down Shift here in the 3D view to select those shells, and then when I go new now, because those shells are already selected, they'll automatically be in that group. So let's go new. Arms. Right, so there's my arms, there's my legs. So here I'm from, this is just from previous versions, you just select the name and it highlights those polygons, but there's nothing in the legs, so I need to add these things to the legs. So what I do now is I can select the legs here, then I go add here, and it's saying select my polygons or shells. I've already done that, so you can either do it before you click on the Add button or you have a chance to select that after you've clicked on the Add button if you've forgotten. So I've already selected it, then I just click on legs here. So those selected shells have been added to the legs. Here's my arms again, there's my legs. So um, what I'll do now is I will create a a new group called hands. Right, so hands has got nothing in it. So what I'll do is I'll select the hands now. So this is where you have a choice in polygon grouping to either add or move. So so the difference is add means that I can add those shells or those polygons into the hands group. Now they were already in the arms, so in sort of this example, I'm including the hands as part of the arms grouping. So if I do add, it will add them to the hands, but they will remain in the arms grouping. If I do move, it will remove them from any other groups and just put them in hands. So I'll show you the difference between that. So let's go, I want to add them to hands. So now if I select legs, obviously we've got legs. If I select hands, it's just the hands. If I select arms, it's the arms and the hands. So because the those polygons in there are now in two groups. They're in the arms group and they're in the hands group. Um, and so I'll show you the difference now. If I do the feet, I'll put them in an exclusive group. So let's go shift. I'll select those, those two shells. And if I go move, oh no, I've got to create the the group first. Or actually, if I go new now, and I go feet. All right, so that's created the group feet and it's actually moved those shells into the feet group. So it's removed them from the legs. So if I click on legs, <coughs> they're not in there anymore. So that's just something to keep in mind. When you do new, it actually moves the polygons into the new group and doesn't add them. So that's, that's um, a, something to remember. So here we have, so there's our difference is our legs is just that and the feet are in their own group whereas here we've got arms and 
hands are sort of in a shared group. And so <clears throat> that's basically it. Um, what I can do is that's selecting shells. So um, here, you know, if I selecting whole shells, but if I didn't want to um, add all the polygons in a shell to a particular group, then you can actually select polygons, not shells. So let's um, let's create a new group. We'll just undo that. <coughs> Uh, that's one thing I haven't shown you. If, if you happen to have a group selected and select new, then what you're doing is giving it a new name. So, hands two, for example. So, that's how you rename a group. Alright, so let's create a new group called left. Alright, and so, and a new group called um, right. So we have left and right, there's nothing in there at the moment. So in that case, what I want to do is I'll select using the G key and stretch a box over all those polygons um, and I'll add them to the left group. So let's go add left. All right, so they're all the polygons in the left group. And then um, if I uh, unselect those. Oh, let's just go hands. So we go the hands now is there, the legs are still there, and the left is everything there. So some of those polygons are in the hands group and in the left group, etc. etc. So you don't just have to select shells to add them to the groups, you can actually use the G key to mark individual polygons, and then those can be moved around the group. Um, if I want to delete a group, so let's say I wasn't happy with that, I'll just select it and go delete. So it's not actually deleting polygons, it's just deleting the, the group name. And then if I, um, let's say I select the arms and move all those polygons into the legs group for some reason. And so now we've got arms is nothing and legs is all of that. If I wanted to get rid of all empty groups, so the arms in this case is an empty group, um, even if it's not selected, I just go delete and it'll empty out, it'll clean out all the empty groups. So now we're just left with the feet and the legs. And so arms and hands, those two groups uh, had nothing in them, so they were removed. So um, that's polygon groups. Material groups is exactly the same, but it only gives you that, the move option, because as I said, I. I Every, any individual polygon can only belong to one material so you can't add it to multiple groups you can only move it between material groups um, and with smoothing there is no you can't add or edit smoothing groups they just come in from the OBJ file and are not, not changeable so there's um, there's uh, editing groups in UV layout you can create groups move polygons and shells between them and then that all that uh, grouping gets saved out in the OBJ file and then when you load that into your 3D package it'll, it'll already be assigned to those different material or polygon groups.